Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, playthrough on Absolute Victory. Uh, I noticed for some damn reason that uh, my videos that I was uploading were becoming crap on YouTube. For some reason I was recording them in HD and they were uploading in H shit. So uh, I've switched some things around. I'm trying to see if I can uh, improve the quality for you guys. I'm going to try a different program as well for the uh, editing. I really gotta say, I gotta give it to these YouTubers. Uh, I figured, hey, you, you just record the board game and you put it on. You know, how hard can it be? It's a hell of a lot more of a pain in the ass than I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, uh, this is, like I said, just the uh, the end phase of the, uh, the turn. I'm just gonna touch on a few important details. I'm not gonna hit every little minutia on it. Uh, if you guys have any questions that I miss, you know, feel free to comment on it. Uh, something that I goofed on, and I'm going to put it here, is <clears throat> the Surrender Cities. For some reason, I was thinking they were the factories, is what was representing that, but it's actually the capitals and this symbol over here. So, Poland was surrendering because I captured Warsaw, which is here, instead of their factory, which is there. Uh, not that big of a deal. Most of the... Uh, Capitals and surrender cities have um, factories in them anyway, so you can pretty much look at one to find the other. Uh, but you can see that Poland is wiped out. Their flag has been moved to the Axis Conquered uh, box on the uh, flag map, and uh, all their units are removed from the game at this point. I think Britain has some like Polish air units that uh, come in later into the game. But uh, for now, no more Polish units will be uh, built up. Uh, I did go ahead and get into the production and recruitment phase. Uh, those units have already been added to the board. I'll show you guys this. Like I said, go on to BBG and look up these files. This is a good one that came off of BGG. There's seven pages, and it goes down the list of all the countries and how many infantry they get under what conditions and then the number of rebuilds they get uh, for shattered units so this is an excellent thing to have instead of having to uh, look it up in the rule book also I think it's on BGG I don't know for sure but you definitely want to take and uh, at least make scans of your production charts and print those out as well because you're going to be writing on them the whole way and the only copies you have are in your rule book uh, I went ahead and made copies of that, and uh, this turn the only uh, tanks that actually got to be produced were by Germany because France and uh, Britain had their factories shut down uh, for this turn due to an event, so they didn't get any tanks. Uh, you can't build ships or planes unless an event puts them there. Uh, you'll get planes through... Uh, upgrades like you know p51s and stuff like that that come later in the war an event will come up that says hey add this plane to the force pool and you can build it and add it to your uh, air availability chart the next turn oh i goofed on this this tank actually needs to go your tanks and planes go on the turn chart and they actually pop up the following turn not this turn infantry go on the board immediately tanks and planes go on the turn chart so I'm gonna take this German tank unit here and put it on the turn chart to be uh, popped out the following turn and then it actually tanks are supposed to come out from whatever factory produced them it says that this one was Dusseldorf uh, I'm not exactly sure because I don't see where the factories are listed I'll have to see if uh, that's listed down somewhere more specific uh, later on in the rule book. Other than that, there's really not too much uh, that goes on during this phase. I mean, there's some uh, specific things that only pop up uh, occasionally into the game, like uh, the British vote of confidence. I'm not going to get too deep into that since none of that's going on right now. Uh, if and when it pops up, I'll get into it. The uh, rail gauge special rule, I'm not using that. Uh, I'm not going to try to keep track of what dot is blue, what dot is green. It has to do with the fact that there were different rail sizes all across Europe in uh, World War II. Some trains had wider tracks, some trains had thinner tracks. I'm not going to keep track of that. If it's got a dot, 
it's got train uh, movement and just eh, leave it at that. It'll be easier than dealing with uh, all the other little special rules that come with it. Uh, other things that uh, happen during this uh, section is the unflipment. You'll see that uh, my little uh, beads have been removed. That's what I'm using to uh, signify flipped units. So I just went ahead and took all those off and uh, took care of it that way. And other than that, I put out uh, my infantry and I'm pretty well good to go. Uh, any storms that you have get removed. There were none on that this turn. Uh, da, 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 da. And let's see. Uh, anything like uh, strategic warfare markers, your pot shot markers for submarines, for Germans and uh, USA, they get moved back. Uh, you can only use those once per turn. Uh, they're not being used currently. Uh, that'll happen later on when uh, Germany gets some strategic warfare. Actually, Germany's strategic warfare is negative eight right now. Um, you count up the amount of planes, uh, the unused planes for Germany, Britain, France, and USA, and they give you plus one or minus one towards your strategic warfare um, for, you know, <clears throat> Germany or the allies you in. Uh, basically, whoever has more planes left over gets to either add to their own or subtract from their opponent. Uh, as it stood, Germany got knocked down to negative eight on their strategic warfare. And there was one other thing. Oh, I goofed this up earlier. I wanted to make sure and mention it. Uh, when events have naval ships come up and you can produce the naval ship, you do not go ahead and put the naval ship directly on the turn track. You put it on the build track, and uh, when it comes to the production phase, if you have a factory that can produce ships, it comes out, and it goes onto the turn track that many turns ahead. So I actually had to uh, move those uh, ships back. For example, Great Britain had a ship that was supposed to be produced uh, 12 turns out, and I had put it on 12 turns out on the turn track. Uh, that was wrong. I moved it back to the naval build pool, and since Britain couldn't produce any ships this turn, uh, they're going to have to wait until the following turn to uh, actually put that uh, ship on the turn track. Um, other than that, there's uh, not much uh, else you have to worry about. It's really just the uh, clean up and uh, bookkeeping phase on this part and any countries that <clears throat> end up surrendering. So from here on out, I'm just going to get into the, uh, the turns proper themselves, pretty much just the warfare stage. And uh, I'll just be posting the main videos on that. Uh, if there's anything major that happens pre or post that, I'll uh, try to record it and uh, get it up there. And <clears throat> I promise I'm going to keep working on uh, improving the video quality. I, I know it hasn't been great. I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Like I said, I'm new to this. I'm trying. Uh, my equipment's not the best. I just, I like the game. I know plenty of others like the game too, and it needs to have you know, some representation on YouTube so people can see it and find out about it and, you know, actually get involved with it. So I'll keep doing my best and I'll improve it as I go, guys. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.